Arts Hair and Talk and Feeding. My name is Chelsea, and I will be telling you about these animals here. I also have my friend Allison with me. She is an American Sign Language student, and she will be interpreting while I talk. In fact, she's going to show us how to spell cotton top tamarinds in sign language. It's a long word. Cotton top tamarinds are a type of monkey, and they typically weigh less than a pound. That's about the size of a squirrel. Under human care, they can live over 20 years old. Now, out in the wild, they typically live to be 10 or 15 years old. They are native to the rainforest of Colombia in South America, and they spend most of their time in the trees. Cotton top tamarinds are also very social animals too, living in groups of three to five individuals, or sorry, three to nine individuals, excuse me. Here we do have a family of cotton top tamarinds. Now in a family, the breeding pair are usually the dominant animals, with the female being more dominant over the male. Older siblings will stay with their parents to help raise their younger siblings. That way they have those skills when they grow up and they have young of their own. To communicate with each other, tamarins have 40 different sounds. These sounds can help express emotion. They can also help to warn of predators out in the wild. And a baby tamarind will learn how to talk tamarind by listening to older members of their family, very similar to how humans learn how to talk. In fact, you might be able to hear some of their vocalizations now. We do have microphones hooked up to our exhibit, and we have speakers on either side. Our tamarinds get a variety of food. They are omnivores, meaning they eat both plant and animal material. Here, their diet includes fruits, vegetables, eggs, and insects. Now you might also notice some colorful objects in with our tamarinds. These are enrichment items. Even though they are not found in their natural habitat, they still help promote their natural behaviors. Our tamarinds are very intelligent, so we have to give them new things to keep them mentally stimulated. Essentially, we don't want them getting bored. Now these enrichment items are switched out every single day so that they are happy and healthy. We've given them things such as stuffed animals, we've also given them Rubik's cubes, and we've even hidden fruit for them too before. Now unfortunately, cotton top tamarinds are critically endangered. That means that there aren't that many of them left. There's a lot of deforestation going on out in Colombia. And that means there are too many trees that are being cut down to make way for pastures, farms, and other forms of development. Now I know Columbia is a pretty long plane ride from Jersey City, but you guys can help the tamarinds today. If you do something to save energy, such as turning off the lights, or just recycling a bottle of water, that helps to save resources too. If you do that, you're helping to save wild habitat, and in turn, wild animals just like the cotton top tamarinds. So keep that in mind, guys. Now, if you enjoyed this very special edition of our Tamarind Talk and Feeding, again, my name is Chelsea. However, if you did not enjoy it, my name is Joe. <laughs> we hope you guys had a great time here. If you have any questions, feel free to come on up. If not, have a great rest of your day here at Liberty Science Center. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome.